everybody, and welcome back to Slave the Princess. Uh, last episode was pretty creepy, honestly. Uh, not not a not a fun thing to look at a couple of times there. Definitely a couple of moments that I was like taken aback, like you know, I didn't like looking at that. And now here we are in this new place that I haven't seen before with these nice little creepy children ghost things whatever and the uh, door is not there so definitely gonna be taking that dagger for sure let's jump into it the blade is your implement you'll need hold yes. on paranoid I forgot he was the there door? yeah for real it's just an empty frame she's already gotten out hasn't she and she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? No. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task <gasps> awaits, and only you can do it. Let's do it, dude. Let's take the blade, first of all. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror, the wall. Approach the mirror. You walk up. What are yeah, you talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wipe it clean. It's you gone. Wow. Make it go away? Cool. Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Ooh, interesting take. Let's take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. Good. Yep. Steel can't lie to us. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... I don't know better than a knife could we have a bomb that would make the game too easy brother the blade is the only thing you need to finish your task you're more than capable of pulling this off so long as you don't lose faith in yourself <laughs> bro i have no faith in myself the amount of times i've died those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death i mean probably let's go oh god you cross oh, over the fuck threshold this and onto a series of isolated steps, suspended in darkness. Epic. More eyes, too. You never mentioned oh, the yeah. eyes. No, you didn't. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Ah, uh, yes, the anglerfish uh, princess. Very cool. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Okay, here we go. Here, Here's the, the voice here. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're going to have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, hate this one already. Come back. She must have you confused with someone else. Ah, uh, you're just stupid. You really don't remember, do you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. Always do, baby. How hard is it to throw a knife? I'm going to talk to her. I don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't need... I don't know why you're also being all such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs or continue down the stairs in silence. No, we're going to kill her. Finally, a voice of reason. Yep. The rest of you should take notes. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I mean... I get it. Let, let's not fuck around. Yeah. Yeah. But the only way is forward. And unfortunately, forward leads to even more death. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. I kind of stopped, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I probably didn't, but I, I, at this point, I'm like, mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Epic. In complete darkness. As you emerge, no, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. Oh, At what seems to be the eyes. end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Oh, fuck you with your binary-ass choices. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Yeah, but like, what the fuck are we gonna are do? You really not gonna comment on how weird this place is? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, fair. We're going to die you down bitch. here. I don't want to die again. Dude, it's gonna happen. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. 
just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter, because either way you go, I'm going to find you. You fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, go right. I don't you fucking know. To the right. Epic. Thank you, narrator. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you oh, are. Oh, shit. I told you I was going to find you. Yeah, bring it, bitch. As the princess approaches, oh, God. She's your a, legs like suddenly a doll. go numb. Oh, this again? Your arms quickly follow. Oh, fuck. This Come is on. It, isn't it? That's not even fair. I you brought a little knife with you. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. Yeah, she's got like a, a doll face. With like, uh, I don't know. It looks like gloves, almost. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, tell me about it. Can you control my body and help me? <laughs> I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. I don't know. I get my memories reset, so we can do this all for eternity, pretty much. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Well, that was short. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your lungs pull Jesus in a desperate Christ. gulp of air as your eyes shoot <laughs> back open. Heart, oh, fuck, that's scary. <laughs> what are you doing? What are we doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function or do you want- And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Oh, is he? Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Oh, he's helping me. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Again, your eyes She's shoot open so close as you gasp for breath. Nerves. Okay, you keep doing what you're doing. Can't decide what We're you gonna fight. Do, can you? Lungs. Oh well, Lizard. standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Hot. Why? Maybe this is all she can do. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. I don't even know if I can hit her. Why won't you finish my me off? Uh, what am I good to you alive? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I, sent, I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't let you leave. Uh, you're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you if you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? Uh, we don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. Ooh. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you. Or So do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Okay, let's get out of here together. Find you win. I'll let you leave. Run. Or slay the princess. Hmm, I wonder what fucking option I'm gonna pick. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. Maybe that is all she can do, this one. We, we did it. We actually did it. Uh, don't... Don't count your chicken jet, brother. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Oh, God. Strike me down and I will be more powerful than you can ever imagine. Can she? No. We've already seen how she can change... <laughs> Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground. Stuck in a dream without stairs to be seen. Heart, lungs, well, liver, 
Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. Oh, finally. Now I'm just waiting for the hand lady to come take her body. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right? I don't know about that. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. Uh, it means we just kill ourselves with a knife, right? It means you're stuck here. Forever. Epic. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. Yeah, same, dude. I want to play the game. <laughs> Time passes. Wow, really? Wow, such narration. Forever's going to end eventually, right? No. No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. I feel sick. Well, you got like 20 minutes, bud. <laughs> it doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? Hopefully not. What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. What does that mean? Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because you're just going to make us go into this void anyway. Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right. I don't. That's a good point. He's like, uh, tell me not to do something. I'm going to want to do it. saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? Because I have to live in order for the world to continue. I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Yeah, whatever, bro. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. If he valued life, he wouldn't have had me kill the princess. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. It's not like it matters if I die, I just come back, but I've... Got the best company I can ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Uh, am I not a creature of biology? I, won't I starve or die or dehydration before forever happens? Are you stuck in here with us? Or are you caping of going to other places? Take the blade from the body or wait? Yeah, what am I going to eat? That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Okay, calm down. I just want to explore my options. <laughs> uh? Are you stuck in here with us, or are you capable of going to other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. Lamau! At least we're all being honest. True. For once. For once in this goddamn game. Uh I get it. You don't want us to die lonely because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Let's take the knife from her you body. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? I thought it was pretty clear. Ah, <laughs> uh, throw the blade into the void, slay yourself, or wait. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I don't like this, but I suppose there's not much I can do to stop you, is there? There's actually a lot you could do to stop me, because you stopped me earlier from helping her. You raise okay, the blade cool. to your neck and slit your carotid artery. Here we go. Don't like that noise. You can stop with that. Chapter three, the wraith. Interesting. You're on a path in the wood. Shit. This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't <laughs> matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, probably like for like 40 to 60 hours. I'm just kidding. I don't know the length yes, of the game. So it does. Oh, hey, Cold, you're back. Yay. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, 
even. Great. So you probably already know all about her, and all about the threat she poses to the world. I mean, physically, yes? Uh, like... The reason, no. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. Way more than twice, but... All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. The cold just doesn't want to play the game, dude. <laughs> That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading, and the world has already started to end. Her influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job. There right? is absolutely no goodwill between us, brother. <sighs> Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. Suspiciously quick. Yes. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. I mean, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> so, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like basic time travel shenanigans or den dimension shenanigans. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. That's a notion. Holy shit. Do we use her to kill the narrator? That's a wild assumption. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. Man, I don't even know what's fucking going on. <laughs> what do you mean see things clearly? Uh, we've killed her, been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. No, thank you. Uh, what happens if we don't go to the cabin? What's the other option? Proceed to the cabin. There's something else we haven't tried. Turn around and leave. I have indeed tried that. Continue Let's go down to the, the cabin. Path towards the cabin. It isn't Epic. long before your steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. This one's very, like, it says the Wraith, but this is giving me very much, like, big-nosed green witch with a cauldron kind of vibes. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. I fucking doubt that. Honestly, at this point, I've given up on understanding everything that's going on maybe letting her out really is the answer you're really pushing that on me whatever you don't want to <laughs> listen to me do it then let her out see what i care yeah okay you wouldn't let that happen it sounds like somebody's about to crack hopefully uh are you trying to re use reverse psychology on me or have you just given There's up obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Cool, and just shut up, maybe. Would you look at that. We won. What are the odds? Take it however you will. Let's go. 
The interior of the cabin is long she and dark, did. a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. Is he going to mention the mirror, or is he going to say that there's no dagger? What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? Why are you whispering, dude? We're on the same head. We're on the same Discord call. That doesn't fucking matter. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, he's kind of right, but also I just have to get creative on how I kill this thing, so we'll see. Let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of the hallway and that right now we can see, we can't see behind it what's there, what's behind it. If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying that at the end of the hallway, there's just an opening again? Stop whispering. He didn't say door, did he? No, he didn't. No, I didn't say door because there isn't a door. It's just an opening. Again, this this timeline sucks without the doors. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, there's an invisible one. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Like Five Nights at Freddy's. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. And certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Well, the last one wasn't even chained up. Let's go ahead. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that eh. awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Oh, good one, you fucking idiot. Why would you tell me that? That's literally what I don't want to hear. And also the fact that I only took like two steps and didn't approach the mirror for it to disappear. <sighs> this is gonna suck. Oh, do we? Uh, do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. Here we go. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Uh, I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. Dude, you're so fucking right, dude. I hate that shit. Like, when I'm watching horror movies and shit, like, it could be the most obvious jump scare and it still gets me, and that just pisses me off. I hate jump scares just because they're so cheap and shitty. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Okay, well, at least there's nothing there. <sighs> well, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. <laughs> Thanks. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Snake lady? Your bones snap. Oh. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying oh. visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. You killed me last time. And that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom. But then you took my body away from me. Oh. Is this the same girl that we're fighting? Like, on this path? Is it, like, the same first girl? Because, like, I get, like, she was swapping bodies and everything, but this one, like... I don't know. She said I took her body away from her. So now... I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. Well, 
you kind of fucked that up. And you, Ugh. you get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Okay. Maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out and it's different. We might as well take it. Shut up. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. turn off the part of you that feels things. <laughs> God, I wish I could. Also, the music in the background? Like, there's like some... <sighs> like, like some fucking... Jason, Friday the 13th, like... You know? Oh, like it's that easy? Very cool. It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. That's a weird way of putting that, that I don't like. Except that pain hurts. <laughs> yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? <laughs> Apparently. You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Jesus Christ, this guy. Okay. Oops. Holy shit. No, thank you. I don't want to stop the recording. Yikes. That was fun. Uh, look. We're even now. You killed me. I killed. Then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim too in all this, you know. Wouldn't possessing me against my will make you no better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. Uh, do you need to take my body? Can't I just open the door? Uh, that's fine. I actually came here to set you free. Struggle. Also, does this look like someone you can reason with? Let's be honest. Um, so I really don't think I want to do any of that. Uh, I never wanted to hurt you. Yes, I did. I'm a victim in this too. I don't think she cares. Uh, wouldn't possessing me suck? Yes, it would. I think I'm just going to struggle. You violently struggle against the princess, but all you manage to do is grind the fragments of your splintered ankle together. You can't shake free from her now. Okay, but like, kick her in the face. <laughs> it's so easy to make you squirm, but it won't be crueler than I have to be. Wouldn't want to cause any more damage. It'll be hard enough for me to walk out of here on that broken ankle. Okay, then I'm gonna make it as hard as possible, and I'm start fucking. You remain pinned oh, to the shit. floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. That's cool. She's like missing her bottom half and then she's got the X marks the spot for where we put the dagger in her. I do like that there's kind of still skin on her, but the forearm still has that hole in it from the bones. That's so cool. Her torso Hello. stretches until her face is practically touching yours. Her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Dude, imagine if she just starts, you know, sucking my dick and she more like, what, dude, this game just totally takes a 180. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? <laughs> God, if he had that power and he wasn't using it, fuck this guy. And crush you along with her. Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides... I thought you all wanted to free the princess. No. Not like this. Absolutely not. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. Yeah. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I don't think this is fine. Is it? 
Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? <laughs> also, how fast is this conversation happening in my head? Because her being this close and just not moving while I have this discussion is hilarious. Yeah, I'm right. Very this anime. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Yeah, I mean, he's got a point. Your Hello. vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. Ooh, that's a little different. No, thank you. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel... wrong. Ooh. Can I do something here? So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Ugh. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. Yeah, tell that to the narrator. Yeah, but I didn't do that. We were gonna let you out of here. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Don't listen here. <laughs> were we? Yeah. <laughs> I was. I know you were. The hell does that mean? And what reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. That's literally all I've been doing this entire game. Yeah. Okay, so she's saying I was doing it out of desperation. And I hope you'll regret giving you the pretext of your soul. There is not a problem of sympathy to be found. I found. Okay, yeah. She got me there. <laughs> now that she's in my head and she knows what I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, I can't really hide that. We weren't always like this. We, I've always been like this. Same. All I'm doing is reading what you found. We don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her what she wants. That's a good point. We can do that. You there. Now. Okay, well now it's definitely what I want to do. <laughs> Your body, Ugh. still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. What does that mean? Throw your body under the abyss. Whoa! In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Whee! Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. True. We're putting in everything we have. Hell yeah. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. Just a body, he says. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. N next one, we all go. One, two, three. 
you throw everything you have against the exorcist her and manage three, when taken against your will deal with your enemy whatever the princess's hold on your body but that moment was all you needed your foot slips a few inches and you collapse forward the darkness swallowing you whole hell yeah Honestly, it's your fucking personality. Like, <laughs> like the more I get to know you, the more I just don't like you, girl. You know? Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall and fall and fall. Hell yeah. That was a lot more ha 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 ing than the voice acting. But also, that's my job, you fucking bitch. Ha ha ha! We did it! We actually did it! Wow, look at that! Yes, we've really shown them all, haven't we? <laughs> I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't ruin it. I'll take that. What happens now? Who knows? <laughs> but I want to know what he thinks happens now. Why not? Why? What do you know that you're not telling us? Well, that's not good. Oh, this is creeping around, around the side, which is a good sign, actually, because that's the texture of the black. Ooh! Terminal velocity ceases and you feel and you feel a something, a mass, a growth torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What? What is happening to me? I'm winning, bitch! Lamau! But you don't answer her before she's gone. You feel resistance underneath your feet. Uh, once more, memories return. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Fuck no. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Yeah, shut up, shut up. Uh, she's gonna be okay, trust me. Yeah, 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 just approach the mirror. Shut up. Just go away. You approach the this, mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels... Shut up. And not in a good way. Ignore the cowards. You have to look. I will. I do every time. The voices feel small distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Let's see what happens now. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Unraveled. The remains you've unraveled. Jesus Christ, I'm losing it. At least I'm not all goopy anymore. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. And then, hey, there's my lady. You're at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know it. That's a... That's a phrase. Because that's more of akin to the last, like, God-killing one. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are frail and impermanent. You and I are the only things that interest me. Why am I not impermanent? Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Very philosophical. Uh, do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Hmm. Okay. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. I never would have. Okay, do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? No. No. The point of awakening is to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, when you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants to kill you. Do you have... Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? Oh, shit. That's a new question. No, their minds are empty. Yeah, <laughs> women, am I right? <laughs> constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? I have no fucking idea. Uh, he does. I don't know why, but I know that for a fact he does. I don't know what I'm going to do to find him. He does. He does. He does. Okay. He does. <laughs> and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have some answers. He does. And when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does. But you're going to keep that to yourself. Oh, okay. I was just like, why are some of them, why do all of them have quotes except this one? But I'm not telling her that. Oh, do I tell her that? I, I really think I keep that to myself because she, I don't trust this thing still. I'm still against this, because I'm still in the mindset of when I complete her, I'm going to kill her. I'm going to keep that to myself. It's nice to be with someone whose thoughts I can never know is mine. Okay. Yeah, that's any relationship, honestly. Uh, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever oh! you bring me next will be enough. Oh! And then gravity will pull the others back to me. Oh. I will be singular. A final multitude. Well, goddamn. Does that mean the only one left is the original princess that I can't kill? This is the last time. Is there anything you would like me to bring you? If this is the last stage before your completion that I'm not going back, I'm just going to stay here. These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Okay. Uh, okay. Go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. <laughs> I fucking... I seriously doubt that, but I'll you have a good night, okay? Waiting for you. Okay, everything goes hard and you die. Hey, oh, bring the wraith to her. A driven heart. You're on the princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Well, here we are once again. I'm going to call it there for today, but, uh, man, only one left, huh? Interesting fucking time. I am definitely now interested in seeing what's next. I hope that maybe this time we can... If there's nothing different, if it's the same exact path, then what I do is I don't go in there with a the dagger, do all that shit, talk to her, all that bullshit, and then she starts eating herself, and then I pick up the dagger, and I go to kill her while she's eating herself. And then, instead of running away to bleed her out, I finish the job. That's my next goal. And if that doesn't work, then I might just fall in love, dude. <laughs> oh, no. I wouldn't know what the next path would be. So, all right. Uh, I'll call it there. Let me go ahead and save my game. Yeah. Holy crap. We're almost done, maybe, hopefully. Hopefully not, honestly. There's so many fucking achievements. Like, oh my god. This game has so many goddamn achievements. There's like 114 achievements. I think I've got like not even 20 of them. Like, fuck, this game's huge. Like, in terms of content, maybe. Like, I am seriously impressed with this game. Without, like, the fact that it's able to have this simple of a, you know, just interaction and, you know, the, the art and everything like that is not, you know, it's not crazy you know magic the gathering kind of art but it's like 
it's still really engaging and really impactful and emotional and i love the shit out of this game right now but yeah uh that's enough uh i'll see you in the next one